Hi. So last time we built a product catalog for the user role. What we wish to start adding now are features that will allow the user to actually purchase the items they can see in the product catalog. So um, this feature we are going to implement in this video series is going to be the shopping cart feature. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, um, some corrections that need to be uh, made to the user interface. Obviously, adding an item is not something for the user role, so we'll remove this uh, this button. And we may want to uh, show the logout uh, link only when a person is logged in. So let's look at the index uh, page for this, uh, for this uh, view. Let's remove first this adding an item hyperlink. Let's also make the appearance of the logout link conditional on the um, person being logged in. So if we add some PHP code around this, PHP if, and all we need to check is session user ID. is not null. So if this is the case, then we can proceed with displaying this hyperlink. Good. So we are going to echo the hyperlink for ease. And we don't need to close the PHP because we have a for each loop that comes right after. So we echo this hyperlink and there we go perfect now the bootstrap style sheet is causing the display inline block not to work well so let's move the style the uh, embedded style sheet to after this external style sheet and actually let's correct the styling a little bit to make the card a little bit more manageable by making it a width 20%. And have a look at the interface now. Okay, it's a slightly better interface. Good. What we want to add now are going to be buttons that allow us to add an item to cart. So, so basically here beneath the price, we add a hyperlink which is gonna allow the user to add to cart a product. And so we need to add the product ID. So item here, product ID to the URL so that the controller is able to know which item should be added to the cart. Add to cart. Good. Now let's just style this as a button. So we're gonna make this class is equal to btn, btn primary, just to make it look good. So we called our method add to cart. Let's look at what this should look like. So we have an add to cart button. Now it's not reactive yet. Okay. <clears throat> so in our um, user uh, controller, so the user controller in the controllers, we need to have a public function add to cart, which is gonna take as a parameter the product ID and what we want for a cart, what is the cart? The cart is the correspondence or the link, a, a link between a user and the product. So um, we're gonna have to write a database table to handle this. Actually, it's going to be two database tables. So let's go directly to our PHP MyAdmin and write these database tables. 
Okay. So in our shopping database, we're going to add first a table. We're going to call it order. I'm going to click go here. And I want to have as fields order ID. That's going to be an integer automatically incremented. I want to have a user ID. I want also to have a status. And this status is going to be an enumeration. The status can be cart, paid, shipped, for instance. Good. So the payment ID, for instance, and that could be just var char, for instance, 50. Okay. So let's save this table. Now, note that the name order is a reserved keyword. So we're gonna pay a certain price for wanting to use this table. Something is going to be necessary. Something needs to be done in our SQL to handle the fact that order is a reserved word. Now, it comes up in SQL commands when we do the order by uh, clauses okay so let's add some constraints so order uh, to user yes and this is going to take the user ID from this table and relate the table to the user tables user ID let's save this so we have an order that belongs to a user that's good now each order can contain many items, many products. So we're gonna build another table. And this table is going to be the order detail table. Order detail ID, which is gonna be, again, an automatically incremented primary key. Then order ID which is gonna be the order ID from the order table, the product ID, which is gonna be the product from the product table, the quantity, which is the number of such items the client is purchasing or wants to purchase. Let's add one more column. The sales price, which is the current sales price for this item. Let's make this a decimal, yeah, six two, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, big ticket items. So let's click save. And let's add some constraints. Let's say um, order detail, yes, let's say order detail to order. That's gonna use the order ID to relate to the shopping database order table order ID. Good. And we also need to have order detail, yes, to product, good. It's gonna take the product ID, relate to, again, the same database um, product table, the product ID. Good, let's save this. So now we have the two foreign keys in this table good so this should be sufficient now if we go back to our add to cart what is the goal going to be what is the process going to be first we're going to make sure there is a cart for the user so something like something like uh, cart is equal to uh, this model and now we're going to need a model for the order and something like find user cart uh, 
use the session user ID. And if the cart is null, then we need to make a cart. So something like cart is equal to this model order and then cart user ID is equal to the user ID from the session and cart status is equal to cart and finally hopefully this is uh, enough information actually let's, let's validate this with the database we are acting on the order table here the order table has the user id the status and the payment id now for the payment id uh, we should actually allow null let's change this to allow null because we're not implementing it yet save Okay, so we only need to implement or populate user ID and status. Good. So which we're doing here. So cart create. Once the cart is created, we should save its ID, the cart ID, or rather the order ID for this. So cart order ID is equal to this. This should happen somehow. And you know, maybe we can do this as part of the uh, create method. Maybe something new to do in our models. Okay, now once that's done, we have cart order ID, which is gonna be an essential piece of data in order to create a new item. So something like new item is equal to again this model and the model is going to be for order detail okay and we will need to populate this new item so new item order id is going to be the cart order id that's for sure and new item product ID is going to be equal to the product ID from the parameter and we certainly need to have the price and the quantity so new item price is equal to and we need to do something here new item quantity by default we can set it to one okay new item create good now here some improvements are needed let's just say later and for the price we need to get that from the actual product so that's going to be something like this model product find based on the product id and get the price good <clears throat> 